Hello there. Welcome back. So now you know how to create gray, blur, sepia, invert, opacity, saturate, or contrast, brightness, eurodate, and drop shadow effect using CSS image filters. This is really so awesome. Okay. So now there is one last thing is remaining that if you go to index or a home, see, and if I go once again to gray, you can see there's no link added in index file so let's add it now okay so that let's visit our creator okay and copy this entire link yeah and copy it go to index his index and just paste it here okay and let's remove this pen folder and let's add a parent folder where it uh, where all these uh, pages is located so that is in filters you can see okay so add filters and in that it's located okay so copy it go here paste it and now you can see now it's pasted and now you are done okay so let me show you when I visit my uh, HTML page and now I can see it's added here okay so this is index space and if you go to gray it's gray brightness drop shadow and if i go back to our same index file just click here and now once again i go to here okay so this is the final version of this code well don't forget that you are using bootstrap there's a lot of possibility let me show you if i go visit bootstrap you can add even model carousel and all those cool stuff well let me show you how to add models okay so I go to JavaScript and well model is a JavaScript content so you can see just uh, just uh, scroll down and here just click model okay and now you can see we are going to add model on it okay so if I click here launch model and now you can see this is model uh, to here see it's model copy it and go to our creator and first of all let's decide where to put a model okay just single demo okay so you can see I'm in grayscale page okay so let's add a model for this one okay so let's go to creator and go to grayscale okay and uh, go down down and before closing this uh, div okay grayscale just go up and here so just paste it here and you can see this is model okay just uh, make a tab okay and now this is a model okay so now let's uh, add images in our model body so images is where it's going to be performed so let's take this one okay this is the first one copy it and go here in model and paste it here okay and now you can see there's more class model fade and id is my model so you need to add an ID okay let me show you. you can see there's a link so you can just add data toggle and class is my model click here copy it go here and just paste it in here okay so let's go here and paste it and now you are done this is just a very simple okay because this is bootstrap so click here right reload it and if you click here it is going to appear you can see now this is so awesome this is like a very simple effort and you added a model well this is the power of bootstrap and this is why bootstrap is the most popular front-end framework on the planet okay so you can actually customize it a lot okay if you don't need need this then just get rid of that so let me show you how just go here go to model sections you can see just delete footers you don't need even footers okay close it save it and now when you get back and reload it and now once again if you click see and even you can make it so prettier let me show you how if you want uh, to just drag it just click this buttons okay copy it paste it in body and just get rid of header you don't need that okay and now you see this is so powerful click here now you can see this looks a pretty damn clean okay so you can close it here and now boom it's added okay so this is very very awesome thing even you can add text even you can add models even can titles 
heading footer a lot of thing okay so let me show you how you can add it so let's back to here let's control z paste okay and now here you can add more title what it what do you want i search movie character and if you go here and click here sorry it's let's refresh it first and click here and now you can see i search movie character this is damn awesome okay so this is how you can add model in that okay so now you know that how to add models actually you can use carousel also this is really so superb okay you can just go here and if you click here carousel and now you can add also this one okay so thank you so much and see you in the next model